Good evening and welcome to the Daily Office and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Sunday, December 31st. It's the first Sunday after Christmas and it's also New Year's Eve and the Eve of the Feast of the Holy Name. The scripture for this service is Psalm 93 and Colossians chapter 1 verse 9 through 20. And now join me in singing verse 4 of Joy to the World. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders and wonders of his love. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we've sinned through our own fault in our thoughts and words and deeds and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you overlook our faults and cast our sins behind your back that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, you reign clothed in majesty and girded with strength. Hallelujah, Psalm 93, and please recite it with me. Hallelujah, you reign clothed in majesty and girded with strength. You establish the world so that it cannot be moved. Your throne is established of old. You are everlasting and evermore. The floods have lifted up. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their waves. You are on high. You are mightier than the noise of many waters. Yes, than the mighty waves of the sea. Your testimonies are sure, and holiness becomes your dwelling forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, you reign clothed in majesty and girded in strength. Hallelujah. A reading from Paul's letter to the Colossians, chapter 1, beginning at verse 9. For this reason, since the day we heard it, we have not ceased praying for you and asking that you may be filled with with the knowledge of God's will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding, so that you may lead lives worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him, as you bear fruit in every good work and as you grow in the knowledge of God. May you be made strong with all the strength that comes from his glorious power, and may you be prepared to endure everything with patience, while joyfully giving thanks to the Father, who has enabled you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the light? He has rescued us from the power of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things in heaven and on earth were created, things visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or powers, all things have been created through him and for him. He himself is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, so that he might come to have first place in everything. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him God was pleased to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, 
by making peace through the blood of the cross. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. And for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Majestic God, girded with strength and power, who established the world and all that is in it, to you our praise is due, and we ask that you accept our humble thanksgiving. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.